All right, we are going to be palpating the muscle called spinalis thoracis. Spinalis thoracis is the most medial of the three erectors. You have iliocostalis, longissimus, and then spinalis. And the biggest section of it, and really the only palpable section of it, is in the thoracic region. So we're going to first be starting the origins. Since this muscle is the most medial of the three, it's originating actually on the sides or the lateral side of the spinous processes. So I'm going to start by finding the iliac crest here, following it over towards the posterior superior iliac spine, heading medial until I find our lowest spinous process for number five. And I'm going to count up four, three, two, and one. So the lumbar spinous process number two, as well as number one, and then above that on thoracic 12 and thoracic 11. So these are the four origins on the lateral side of these four spinous processes. These are our O's. And then the muscle is going to start attaching at spinous process above that. So once again, that was lumbar two, lumbar one, thoracic 12, thoracic 11. It's going to skip number 10, it's gonna skip number nine, and then it starts attaching at eight, seven, six, five, four in this area here. So you have four origins and five insertions, and the muscle is going to be getting kind of this like rainbow effect where the lowest attachment actually goes to the highest attachment. So the lowest origin around L2 is going the highest in the T-spine. And then you have the shortest segments right in the middle between T11 and 9. So the best way to palpate this muscle is to first find the SPs, roll slightly off to the side, and then this is going to be doing extension primarily, again with all the other rectors. That's going to be its main function, so we're going to ask him to extend his trunk up. And if I take my hands away for a second, you'll actually see a little bit of an indentation in the center of his erectors. Ignore a little bit of his trapezius in this area. He's going to relax back down again, and we'll get at that to fire again. So watch very carefully right in this area. He's going to slowly right. So right in this area, right in here, right up against the SPs, this is spinalis thoracis in the best location for you to be able to strum it. And again, you can relax back down. So the person has a, quite a tight back muscle tissue. If you go right up against the SPs and you strum in a medial lateral fiber direction, you might come across some taut bands that are quite stringy as you go all the way up along the side of the SPs in that section right there. Because it attaches from spinous process to spinous processes, this muscle really does not do any sort of rotation. So acting bilaterally, it is going to be an extender of the spine. Uh, but if you were acting unilaterally, it would also work with some lateral flexion. So again, extension and lateral flexion of the spine is going to be the actions. And that's going to conclude our palpation of spinalis thoracis.